inside the car pull out the ride and hold on to the bar. Enjoy the ride. We make videos on theme parks, amusement parks, and all fun stuff, attractions, museums, we visit zoos, we do other things like trampoline park. If this is something you like, you enjoy, please consider subscribing to this channel. The channel that brought to you, Water Towers, Jessing Towers, Cool Park, Legoland, Black Blue Pleasure Beach, Grayton Manor, Adventure Island, Winter Wonderland, Brighton Pier, Grand Cross, Fortin's Park, Flamingo Land, Oakwood, Lightwater Valley, London Fun Fest, and many others. Present, present. Well, hello, good morning from Kettering, Northamptonshire. The date is 31st of August 2019. As I said in the previous videos that we're on a mission to try out as many theme parks as we can in England. Based on that intention, here we are in a small family amusement park, which is also one of the oldest in England. Founded in 1921, behold, it's called Wickstead theme park founded by Charles Wickstead currently running under the uh, Wickstead Charitable Trust and it also has the world's oldest water shoot ride the park is actually really big in terms of the space acres in terms of the rides itself there's not many too many thrill rides and they have free coasters a couple of uh, water rides couple of uh, flat rides but nothing major like any other theme parks we've been the current time is just five to ten we just got our wristband which we purchased online for 14 pounds 45 correct yeah let me just quickly show you this one of the green wristband nothing like a scanner or nothing uh, like you you scan it against a machine and uh, yeah we're just trying to head through the frill areas this park is divided into different areas you have the playground area uh, I can't remember you got other areas like they have other attractions splash such as area. splash area adventure, area. adventure. so adventure. this park has not just rides it offers um, other attractions like we've, we've seen zipline I don't think it's for free but I'm not 100% sure we'll have to check that later on yeah welcome to the Hayati channel hope you like it regarding filming at, at this stage I have no idea what is the policy whether we can film the rides or not. I've been told that they don't really have any policy, but we have our chest camera just in case. It's very windy, so I do apologize in advance for any wind noise. It's supposed to be raining, light rain later on. And uh, what else? Keep forgetting to mention all the details. Um, yeah, the park was founded in 1921, so you can imagine how old this park is. So they are testing the rides. The rides open half 10 and the closing time is what 5.30 I think she said. Yeah, they decided on the day. The closing time is decided on the day and opening times half 10. The park opens obviously earlier so you can have a uh, look at all the uh, themed areas and all the rides that they have. I think this coaster is Pinfari. We have the go-kart over there which I believe comes with the wristband which is a bit surprising. Normally they charge an extra money usually for things like that I would assume okay let's go now I'm just a by the way completely normal guy I'm not doing all these vlogs for fame or anything I mean you can take a look at the number of subscribers that I have I don't even have I'm not I don't consider myself to be big so we're just doing this because we love to do this kind of things we like to spend our money on theme parks attractions we don't go to clubbing we don't go to things that other people do so as you can see here there are arrow sign posts everywhere around the park
pretty intense, isn't it? <laughs> You're gonna go at the front, maybe. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. So I just came off Pinfari Coaster and it's very rough. It's good, the airtime it's good, but it's very rough. The seats are also not very comfortable. What do you think? Yeah, it's pretty good, yeah. but it's very... Um, Let's get a uh, of that. It's very rough. Yeah. But it's also very quick. I'll give this a uh, six, 6 out of 10 I would say, something like that, yeah. Here we are for ride number 2, Ladybird Coaster. Let's go. Powered coaster. Yeah, so this ride is literally you've got Pinfari over there, Ladybird coaster, you got water ride over there, so and you got go karts. So so far we can see four rides in this area. What did you think of Pinfari coaster? Do you want to add anything else? No, it was really it's really good but very jolty. Very jolty and this restraints were a bit uh, tight, isn't it? Please remain seated at all times. Keep arms and legs inside the car throughout the ride and hold on to the bar. Enjoy the ride. Just came off Ladybird Coaster. Very, uh, very decent. Um, average family coaster. Nothing really too special. Six out of ten. Yep, but it's a very fun coaster. Yeah. You know, we managed to do Pinfari, Lady Coaster, and ride number three. The lock system, I'm not sure if it's is where they the stick like retro. A, a bar thingy into here. Yeah. That if, when they twist it, it unlocks it, it, then they pull this out yeah. to open the bar, then they jam it shut, put yeah. the key back in. It takes a long time. I don't know how they regulate it during extremely busy time. At the moment, the queue is not super busy. Who knows how it's gonna pick up later on. We just came off, I don't actually know what the ride is called. This ride here that you can see. Paratrooper. Paratrooper, that's the one. Yeah, um, so we went on it. We had, I had the chest strap on, he had his handheld GoPro, and yeah, we all got on the ride. They, you know, locked us in and everything, and it was great. And then they came back and said, actually, you can't use your GoPros. Yeah. Unexpectedly, very disappointed. They told us, they told us after on our third ride, suddenly you can't film. We spoke to the manager and he said, sorry, we can't give you permission. We need to get permission from the marketing team you have to email them in advance and I thought there's no rule for that we better to do a couple of POVs anyway this is by the way we're going to that ride Rocky River Falls like a log flume <laughs> we just came off the log flume which is called Rocky Rocky uh, something falls Rocky Falls yep. It's a decent log flume. I would give this a 7 out of 10 actually. I've actually liked it. Yeah. And they do shoot water unexpectedly. Unexpectedly. I didn't record all of that. But yeah, what do you have to say? No, I thought it was good. It's nice, smooth flow. It's only one drop, but it's a good drop. 
thankfully it didn't actually get too wet in the drop i thought it was great yeah it's a great log flume yeah once you go in i mean it's a very short ride but then you get a water coming and splashing you up on you unexpectedly you have a what do you call them there's First like one, a waterfall. A waterfall yeah then you go in and you have like really loud noise a shooting sound yes yeah, water, water exploding out yeah. of the out of the water yeah. okay so we've got a nice off ride view here of the track for the coaster Pinvari that's the one Before you leave this area, why don't you talk about what Okay, like yep, so that was Pimfari. Then we have over here the Ladybug Coaster. So let me zoom into that for you. It's not running at the moment, but you can just see the track there. That's the track for Ladybug Coaster. Further along and over there, you can see Paratrooper. And then you can see Rocky, Rocky River, River Ford. And then right at the back in the corner there you've got a teacup right you going again and i think go go -kart. go karts are there it's fine that would be a nice view if you zoomed in if i went to the water right you can see the ladybug coaster going now and then you've got some kiddies kiddies right go car eat whatever something here and that's the thrill section done you want me to record these guys um yeah they do they can get quite angry yeah no 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 they don't like being approached okay so here we're stood in front of the wicksteed model boating lake this project has been supported by Living Spaces, a scheme funded by the Office of the Deputy Prime Minister to help local people improve the local environment. Wigsteed Park's famous free model boating lake is an attraction that is available to all model enthusiasts. I think they should really invest in buying some quality rides, considering that theme park has become very challenging and it's a very competitive market you know nowadays theme park is not about all about offering rides they need to be uh, you know offer more things so we're looking at ferry boat here which apparently is included with our wristband we're going to the water shoot water shoot one of, this is the world's oldest water shoot one of the world's oldest okay. look at this It goes backwards as they just pull him, pull him back up. Yeah. He's gone up on the shoot ride again by himself, so I can do an off ride view of him. I'm just waiting here for the boat is being currently, I don't know if you can see through the trees there, the boat is currently being pulled up from the last ride. So, what happens is basically there's a, a big rope cable attached to the boat. Um, and as you can see through the bushes, people are get getting off the boat now. So what happens is it comes down the chute, big splash at the end, and then it gets pulled back up by the cable. It starts very suddenly, there's not really a countdown or anything. And then you exit to the left out of the stairs there that you can see. There they come. <laughs> Lots of water going there. <laughs> hey, sweetie! Yeah. How was it? 
And there you can see the cable. It's pulling the boat back up. And he's disappearing in the trees. It's the world's oldest water shoot. The staff over there, the guy was really nice. Uh, I just want to say when you get up there, there's you have to climb up these stairs. It's really narrow. And I think that could be hazardous. It could be dangerous. I mean, if you coming off, if, they if it's have raining, a lift for they should have a lift or <laughs> even a wider stairs because you could slip off. So that's just a note. Also, I forgot to mention if you sit at the front, you get very wet. If you sit at the back, you get just a little bit drop. Yeah, so, you get a few tiny drops. At yeah, the back. tiny drop. But if you want to really get wet, sit at the front. Also, this park, they do archery. I believe you have to pay upfront charge so four arrows three pounds 15 minutes six pounds 30 minutes 10 pounds they stand backwards oh they turn around look uh -huh. We have just got fish and chips each for £6.95 for one lot of fish and chips. There is no drink with this £6.95 is included in this price. Literally just fish and chips. Yeah, I think it's And then right. we've got knife and fork, tissue, he's got ketchup and yeah we put some salt on it and everything and yeah we're just gonna munch this is manufactured by Zampella oh it's quite loud so this is the Wulumulu entrance which is a walk through aviary so lots of birds in that let's have a look Ooh. They don't like to touch anyone, do they? Can you say hello? Much yeah. more well behaved. <laughs> That's good, yes. The only thing we need to train him to do is to keep his food bowl where it's supposed to be. Hey, stop flying away. That is a very podgy bird, that one. Hello. Hello. Can you squawk or say something? Yes? No? Please? You're Perseus. Are you Perseus? Hi. Hi, Perseus. Yeah, really impressive the bird enclosure area. You've got birds all around you. They're not even in, in cages, they're free to run around, fly around. Little green turquoise birdie, that is so cute. I don't know if the GoPro can actually capture these birds. Hey little birdie. Hey little birdie. Well, shall we? Oh! The sway rider ride by himself so we can record him. And I'm not sure if you can see him in between there, but he's just back there. There he is.
I just came off from Sui Rider and I was actually you know uh, thought it's gonna be a little bit crap right to be honest but it was actually impressive they give you some sort of uh, very light rush to it I really enjoyed Sui Rider I would give 5 out of 10 seating is very easy to put you know it's not complicated it's literally push in and push up on this screen right about now you're gonna have a few pop-ups so check out these videos if you're interested somewhere on the top somewhere on the top over there